In the heart of America's Everglades, a remarkable transformation is underway. The South Florida Water Management District and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are working with our partners to rewrite the story of our river of grass. Together, we are implementing the world's most ambitious restoration effort, the Comprehensive Everglades Restoration Plan. It's working. Our famed river of grass is coming back to life. Investments and projects demonstrate that Everglades restoration is paying off over the last four years. A rehabilitated Herbert Hoover Dyke and proactive management meant no large harmful discharges of water from Lake Okeechobee to the northern estuaries. And the estuaries, when these water flows are right, are recovering. We just had our third successful oyster season with strong recruitment in both estuaries. With sustainable flows to the Caloosahatchee, the important submerged vegetation habitat is returning to the river. Two-thirds of Picayune Strand is receiving wetland water levels, beginning the restoration of tens of thousands of acres of natural critical Florida panther habitat. The wading bird population and snail kites are returning to the restored Kissimmee River floodplain, along with the bass spawning habitat so important for Lake Okeechobee. The completed portions of the Biscayne Bay projects, like the Daring Estates, are rehydrating the coastal marsh, bringing the marine life back and balancing the salinity in Miami's iconic bay. More infrastructure along Tamiami Trail and the eastern side of Everglades National Park is reconnecting the Everglades through Shark, River, and Taylor Sloughs, vastly improving the habitat for the keystone species like the American alligator. The additional water delivered through these sloughs is also working to stabilize salinity levels in Florida Bay, fostering the regrowth of seagrass and warding off a hypersaline bay. Wading birds, a key indicator in restoration success, have had two banner nesting years in the last six, proving to us that if you restore it, they will come. While the results are real and happening, more needs to be accomplished to ensure that we fully restore this system. Together, we're not just restoring the ecosystem, we're enhancing water supply resiliency for Floridians and wildlife. Our restoration efforts must continue. We've celebrated more than 60 ribbon cuttings, groundbreakings, and major milestones for Everglades projects. Today's groundbreaking is testament to the fact that the Army Corps of Engineers, South Florida Water Management District, all of the stakeholders, communities that are invested in these projects, uh, they're up to the task. You're showing the rest of the country that this is possible, um, that, that thinking big and acting big on behalf of nature and of people is possible. Um, even if it's hard and even if it takes a long time. Continued co collaboration with our partners at the district and the Corps remain critical to our success. Water is part and parcel of Florida's DNA. Protecting it is the smart thing to do, but quite simply, it's the right thing to do. We all should be proud of the work that we are doing. There is simply no other coalition of people, and I'm not going to call us entities or agencies, because we are people working together to make some magic happen here. And there is no other coalition like this anywhere else in our nation. We are writing history's most remarkable environmental restoration story, but there is still work to be done. Together, we must continue the unprecedented momentum for America's Everglades and protect this one-of-a-kind ecosystem for generations to come. Thank you for the love you have for this beautiful environment. I want to thank all of our federal partners and state partners and, and all of our stakeholders. So God bless all of you and long live the Everglades.